Hey everybody, welcome back to The Hook Nook. Today I'm working on an amigurumi coffee mug. In order to make this project, you need three colors of yarn, one color for your cup, one color for your coffee, and one color for your facial features. You'll need a yarn needle, a hook, this is size E, 3.5 millimeter, a pair of scissors, stuffing, two six millimeter safety eyes, and a stitch marker. Okay, so we're gonna begin by creating the liquid that goes inside. I take a little milk in my coffee, so this is my coffee with cream. I'm gonna make the magic loop. I'm gonna start like I'm doing a slip stitch. So I hang the yarn tail down and bring the yarn, working yarn up and around my fingers and lay it over the yarn tail. I'm going to go in the loop. I'm going to pick up that working yarn and then I'm going to drop it out of my hand. I'm going to pick up my working yarn. I'm going to yarn over and create a chain stitch on the working yarn on the magic circle and that locks my magic circle in then I'm going to create one chain stitch now I'm going to go into the loop I'm going to yarn over and pull through I'm going to yarn over and pull through too that's the first single crochet on my magic loop. I'm going to repeat that eight times. Four, five, Seven and eight. Oops. Mm -hmm. Now I have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is my loop. I'm going to hold on to my stitches and I'm going to pull this string like a drawstring and it's going to slide those stitches tight. Now I try to make sure that they don't twist while I'm doing this. And then I'm going to go in to the first single crochet that we made on our magic loop. There we go. Yarn over. And now I've created the first single crochet on my next row. Put my stitch marker in there so I don't lose that place. Now we're going to do two single crochets in each single crochet of the previous row or in your magic loop. So in this case, I'm working on my row one. I'm going to increase every one stitch. So that's two single crochets in each single crochet. That's one increase. That's two increases. three increases, number four, and you continue on all the way around back to the beginning. Now we should have 16 stitches on our round. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 8 times 2 because we did one single two single crochets in each one single crochet. So that's 16 stitches. Now for round three, we're going to do one single crochet and one increase and repeat that pattern. So we're on round two and we're going to go every second stitch, we're going to do an increase. And that way we can keep our work flat. So I've done three stitches. Let me put my stitch marker in there so I don't lose my place. You're going to continue to work one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the stitch after that. Repeat this pattern to the end of the round. At the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. Okay, now that we've completed the coffee, we need to create the coffee mug. We're going to begin again with the magic circle. I'm going to grab my yarn. I'm going to wrap it around my fingers just like I'm making a slip knot, but I make sure I have a longer tail. I'm going to wrap the working end of the yarn over the yarn tail. I'm going to reach into the loop with my hook and grab my working yarn, pull through, and I put my finger right here to hold on to it. And you're going to pick it up and pull in that tight. You're going to yarn over and create one chain stitch and that locks your loop together. You're going to create a second chain stitch. And then you're going to go into the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's my first single crochet on my magic loop and I like to mark that so that it's easy for me to find. And then you're gonna reach in yarn over and create your single crochet. So you're gonna do as many stitches as the pattern calls for. Today I'm doing six stitches. One, two, three, four, five and six. The next step is to grab your piece of work, your stitches, and then grab this string. This string is like a drawstring. So you're going to pull this stitches and pull the drawstring at the same time so that they slide down through. And that is going to pull your magic loop tight. Oops, wrong string. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start your stitches for row one. So I'm going to move my stitch marker out of, out of the way so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to start my stitches for round one. So now I've created the first stitch in round one. And I'm going to mark that so that I don't lose it. So when I get around, back around to it, I know which is the first stitch of the round. And 
In order to work in the round and stay flat, you're going to increase your stitches as you go. The first row, you're going to increase in every stitch. So row one, you increase in every single crochet. So I'm going back into my stitch and working two single crochets in, in each one single crochet. So when I'm done, I'll have a total of 12 single crochets on my round. So now I have, I should have 12 stitches. This is stitch number one. We know it's stitch number one. That's why we put the stitch marker there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I know I'm, I'm correct. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. I'm going to put my next stitch in the first stitch. So this is my first stitch of round two. And on round two, you're going to increase every two stitches. So that's stitch number one on round two. Stitch number two, I'm going to do an increase. One, two stitches in one stitch. Now stitch number three is going to be a single crochet. Stitch number four is going to be an increase. My yarn keeps splitting here. One, two. Stitch number five is going to be a single crochet. Stitch number six is going to be an increase. And then I'm going to count my stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So now that I have eighteen stitches, I'm going to take my stitch marker out. I'm going to do the first stitch of the next round. And I'm going to make sure to put my stitch marker right back in so I don't lose that beginning stitch. This is our, this is our magic ring. This is row one. This is row two. Now we're on row three, and row three will be an increase every third stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and that's my third stitch, so I'm going to increase. Two. And that's my third stitch, so I make sure to do two single crochets in that one. That's my increase. And continue around. And you should have 24 stitches.
So now I have 24 stitches around and I've created the bottom of my piece. Now we're going to start working up the sides of our coffee cup. So we're going to we're going to work in the back loop only or the back post. So you're going to split your stitch and work only in the backs. We're going to single crochet one stitch per stitch of the previous row. So Created two, get my stitch marker in there. One, two. That way I know where I'm at. Again, we're working in the back post only. So we're splitting our stitches. So I've done 24 stitches and you can see how it's starting to come up the sides of the cup and that by working in the back loop only you make this nice line which delineates your edge. So now you're going to continue to work in single crochet. You're going to do regular single crochet stitches. And continue doing one single crochet for each single crochet in the previous round. So this is my magic circle, row one, two, three. So this was six, this was 12, 18, 24, and each one of these rows is 24 stitches. So this is row three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rows. I've stopped where it tells me that I've hit I've stopped where my stitch marker is, so I know that this is the beginning of the row, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up a loop nice and large so that I don't lose my piece, and I'm going to set it down so I can work on putting it together. Now that you've finished your coffee and most of your mug, I've pulled up a loop so that I don't lose my place. The first step is to make sure to tighten your magic ring 
and sew it in place so that it doesn't come loose. So I'm going to go down to my magic ring and I'm going to pick up the stitches in my magic ring. Just like this. And once I've picked up a couple of those stitches, I'm going to go back and do a back stitch to lock it in place. That way my magic ring doesn't come loose. Then I'm going to find the front of my cup. So this is the beginning stitches and this is where we've gone up. So I'm going to make that the back of my cup. And I'm going to work on the front of my cup. I'm going to stick my eyes in. Two, see this better one two three four that's the fifth row up and I'm gonna put the eyes about four stitches apart so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is one stitch two three four stitches apart We're going to flip this over so I can work on the back side, get the backs of the safety eyes on. to take a little bit of my black yarn and I'm going to put 
put on his face. And I think this one I'm going to give a smile to. So I'm going to start. inside out again. I'm going to tie this in a square knot to make sure that it doesn't come out. So right over left, left over right makes the knot neat, tidy, and tight. So now my face will stay on there. The next thing you need to do is add your stuffing. You want to stuff him so he's a little stiff. Not super stiff. Maybe just a little more. All depends on how you want him to feel. Now you're going to take your coffee. Line up your stitches. And you want to make sure to sew in the back loop only. So I'm going to tuck this in there. Put one more on here so that I not so fiddly with it. So you want to pick up the back loop of your stitch and both loops on your coffee. Pull this out of the way. Go to the next stitch, you're going to pick up the back loop of your stitch and both loops of your coffee. You're going to continue this around
Now that you've gotten all the way around, you're going to tie off your yarn and shove it into your work. Snip that off. You gotta pick your hook back up. And you're gonna pick up each stitch and do one row of single crochet. to finish off your cup. What did I do? Finish it off, you're going to want to do another invisible join. So pick up your stitch, go back in. <clears throat> Try and hide it inside the project as much as possible. Then you're going to go in.
Now all you have left to do is the handle. So you're going to take your cup color. You're going to take your cup color. You're going to chain 11. So start your slip knot. Chain 11. You're going to come in from the second from the hook. You're going to single crochet 10. And you're going to snip it, leave yourself enough that you can sew it on. So you're going to put it on your yarn needle. You're going to hide that. And your stitches. You're going to sew it on to your cup.
and sew it to the bottom. This is what happens when you don't leave yourself enough of a tail. Again, I'm going to hide that in my work. There you go. One happy coffee mug.